challenges um, in marketing, uh, market-wide visibility. So we would um, we will expand and improve current perceptions and general market-wide visibility strategies for the industrial authority for communicating the benefits of locating your business to Valdosta. Another challenge is a single identity. At minimum, we need a consistency in our communication. Consistent um, implementing a single identity for the industrial authority in every application from advertisement, collateral, media messages. Our image, theme, direction, and marketing materials um, should be perceived as a balanced professional and together. Megan, let me ask you a uh -huh. question. When we talk about <coughs> our identity and branding, would you answer this question for me? Please? I can. I'll do my best. Does the word industrial reflect positively or negatively in our name? It is a part, that is a part of the um, survey that we are including in our target market analysis um, to get results get a community input on what our community, or how our community perception. perceives industrial authority. What if the perception of the word industrial being a part of our name is negative? Do we have any proposed resolution to extricate that from our name? I, I think that um, if we get I think through this branding strategy, it, get, it allows for us to get feedback through the community and from the board when we get ready to part. And let me kind of preface this with this. Throughout our target market study, we're also coordinating efforts with Market Street to get out that branding survey. We don't want to send mixed messages and you get this over here and you get this over here when we're coinciding efforts. And the branding survey talks a lot about how do you see the industrial authority and how do you see it in Lowndes County and how do you see its roles and what are your perceptions, et cetera. And it allows for us to get a lot of that feedback to make sure. So I think with the industrial authority moving forward, there's a development missing in there that allows for us to show that we're actually a large part of development in this community and when those things need to happen, this is the organization that makes them happen. So, is it foreseeable that we're going to go through some metamorphosis with regard to our brand, how we name ourselves, what we call ourselves? Is that the possible end game? That's, I mean, it's a possibility. I think we need to wait for that feedback and see where we need to go. And could you, could you, are you thinking about a name change? I think that's something that we have to. I mean, the legal question is, can you change the name? Well, no. Now, I I looked at our lawyer, and he has an answer for that. Okay. No, I, mean, I wouldn't want you to answer our legal question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, but but yeah, it's more constitutional, so it seems like the legal it's issues. Legal issue. Yeah, there, there's some severe legal issues. I sure. Think that, I think the last time we had this discussion was seven eight years ago, Tom, and we looked into it briefly and the problem is if you change the name you lose the constitutional designation. Yeah, this was the reason sure. the city and county wanted to go back and forth for people appointed. Yeah, I, I remember some discussion about that which is why I brought it up. Can we do a DBA? Can you, can you do a DBA? Can you do a doing business hours? Well, you, I mean, you probably have to form a different corporation and have two different approaches. One from the industrial authority that would do the bonding and do so I mean, if we're going into that with you know the possibility that the end game may suggest a change, I would hope that Mr. Gupton would be involved oh, yeah, early actually, on. Yeah, sure. We wouldn't do anything without having a legal opinion. <laughs> Not at all. Or actually having more feedback on that. Okay. And, and this will be coordinated with the market. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs>